They were the engine room of Britain's World War I effort. The workers at Chilwell Ammunitions Factory churned out more than 19 million shells to be used on the Western Front, playing an undeniable role in the course of history as they did so. But 100 years to the day on Sunday, an enormous explosion tore through the factory. 134 people, perhaps even some of those you see here, never made it out alive. This footage from inside the factory lay unseen for decades in a garden shed, but thanks to painstaking restoration work from technicians at the Imperial War Museum, the reality of working in the factory has been brought back to life. Nicola Wood's great-great-grandfather was among those killed in the blast. She remains keenly aware of his sacrifice. Great deal of pride. And these were humble people. They were everyday people. Didn't have a lot of money. You know, they didn't have a lot to go around, um, but they gave their all and obviously in this case their life. And then we'll come to the service on Sunday. Her son and daughter have been learning more about the disaster. Seven-year-old Torin even writing an account of what happened. Memory of Tom Textor from his Textor is my great-great-granddad. So how do they feel about their connection to such a stark piece of history? Proud because he lived and sacrificed his life for us. Talking from our generation personally, I think that everyone needs to know and just take that time out to understand what we went through, our families and ancestors went through. In the peaceful grounds of St Mary's Church in Attenborough, a new memorial now stands to remember that sacrifice. Tickets to the official ceremony to unveil it on Sunday have all gone. Well, this is the uh, register recording the deaths and actually it makes quite painful reading. The church's exhibition about the disaster doesn't shy away from the brutal reality of the explosion. The vicar keen for Chilwell's modern generation to understand the sacrifices of their predecessors. I think we're impoverished if we don't know where we've come from. As I say, if we don't um, have an awareness of the past, we can't learn the lessons of the past. And if we don't learn the lessons of the past, we're liable to repeat the failings of the past. And we most certainly don't want a recurrence of what happened in the First World War. Julia Hart's great-grandmother left the factory just months before the explosion, escaping, it turned out, with her life. Julia feels the contribution of her relative and those like her should be honoured. I think they did a work that was equivalent to the soldiers fighting on the front, because without what they did, there wouldn't have been the shells to fire from the cannons that ultimately won the war. And I just think we owe it to the community to make sure that it isn't forgotten. If it is, then it won't be for the want of trying.